Notice how quiet we are. Here on the 18th green. <laughs> we? He's earned that. <laughs> now we're underway. Okay. Easy. Easy there. You don't want to start. However, after the spare, he will get it. And now you've got two of them here in Fagan and Weber. But two completely tights. You know, Weber's all out there. He puts it right out there in front of your face. We're going to keep an eye out for that silent lucidity. I can tell you that. So uh, uh, that's going to go as a spin. You know, the big hooping it up and running it out, and only when it matters. After he wins. And he'll come in to get the strike. I'll tell you what, this guy. U.S. Open title, something nobody else, even his dad, did not do. Interesting ball change on the right lane for Weber. That pin has stood up all day. That really? Pin. That is. You got it. It's called sportsmanship, pal. The other side. Wow. They're right on top of each other, playing the same zone, playing the same part of the lane. And we'll get his spare. So Pete Weber gets the spare. Mike Fagan, the number one seed. Got him. So he's rolling. Fresh championship is his. And he'll leave the 10. Can carry, but again, it's. It's all about the maturation process that Mike Fagan is. Which has happened in the first two matches. Found that one. There's a ball change now in the left lane. Remember the last two shots on the left lane were both high. Where we're using the same ball in both lanes now. After his first back to back strikes and the ball change still can't get the 10. So only one strike but in this tournament that is often decided remember Fagan leading the season in earnings and average and came back the day you've got to make these spares Leaves it open. That year. See how he reacts to that last one. Gets it back and gets the strike. There's the answer, Randy. Pete Weber being his own best counsel. Leading by two, halfway through. Coming off a spare. Came back. Again high. Six. Had only one strike in this match, and we'll get another spare. And you can see a little thankful that that one. Yes. So he gets his first strike on that one. Big bend and got him. Ooh. Thank you. Taking the number one seed, trying to beat Pete Weber. There's that 10. Soft 10. Taking after the spare. Watching the number one seed bowling for the first and most important time today. Got a hook. Oh, baby, yeah! He knew it. And with that shot there, he takes a one pin lead. After three consecutive strikes.
Focus, focus. Megan after that spare, and he's got it, but that's not what he wanted there after that. Whoever finally looks up, watching Fagan, can he do it? Yes, he can, keep The thumb on. He stiffens up a little. Yeah, you, you never know. Wow. Boy, you talk about. Now, making Weber think about this next shot he has to throw. Megan finishing it up with a strike. Three in a row for Mike Fagan. United States Open Championship. If Weber gets eight on this first ball, we have Might the possibility well of a second. tie. We'll watch. No one's ever won five. Hands up. Well, that's it. Not yet. My goodness. What a great. He's got, to, he's got to make it. He thought he had that. Got to make it. For the spare. He's missed one, but not that one. He's got to have a anything less than nine. Fagan wins sitting on the bench. Strike to claim it, a strike to claim it, and he got it! Scott did it, yes! That is why I did it at number five! Are you kidding me? That's right! Who do you think you are? I am! Give it right! Bowling history, the only player ever to win five U.S. Opens. Great ball in this Pete Great Weber. Great ball in this Great ball. Nice ball in this Great ball. This would be the highlight of my career. He got it.